Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rach and I have recently been on a journey of uh, buying and decorating a new apartment and that's the type of videos that I'm making at the moment. For those of you who've been following along with my home updates, I do have more coming. There just hasn't been a ton of new things going on so that's why that video has been a little bit delayed. But I have purchased a whole bunch of stuff to decorate my apartment for Halloween. I am a massive Halloween fan. It's definitely nowhere near as big in Australia as it is in the US and other parts of the world, but I love it. I've loved it my whole life and I'm so excited to finally have access to um, a bunch of Halloween uh, decor items, mainly through TK Maxx and TK Maxx Australia. So. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. This video is not sponsored in any way, but it's pretty much a TK Maxx haul. I do have a couple of items from Target to show you as well. And then of course, I'm gonna show you how I've styled the items in my apartment so you can see how they look in situ. So let's power through this because I know that there is a lot of stuff. I had a bag here. I was like, it was just a prop really because there's no way all the stuff that I've bought has been purchased and would fit in one bag. I've actually bought this over a long period of time, uh, over pretty much the last month. Everything sort of started coming out around the start of September and I've made far too many trips. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is some candles. Uh, most of these, actually I think all of these are the, oh no, this one's different. So this, these are the Sand and Fog brand, which TK Maxx have and TG, TJ Maxx have also. Uh, this one is really cute. It just has like a little happy Halloween on the top and it's mulled wine. This scent is basically straight up McDonald's hot apple pie. I love it. If you love that kind of scent, um, definitely see if you can find this candle. This one was $4.95. And then we have a larger candle from Sand and Fog as well. This one says trick or treat on the top. Really sweet, just burnt into the wood. This was $12.95 and the scent of this is pumpkin spice. And it is really that straight up pumpkin spice scent. I don't think this kind of scent is for everybody. I know this is a little bit divisive. Like my sister would hate this scent, but if you like pumpkin spice, the trick or treat candle, delicious. And then the last one that I have here is from DW Home. This is sandalwood tobacco. I really loved this one because it was just really simple plain um, and it just says boo on the front really sweet smells really good too kind of like a men's cologne in a way this one was $9.95 and I believe they had a slightly bigger version which was $12.95 as well let's talk about a couple of decorative items starting with some books kind of random but I saw this and thought it would be amazing in my like, little study nook on one of the shelves it just says spells on the back here and you could definitely have it set out that way or have it set out this way on the front. It's got a protection spell and a love spell with some skeleton hands. Just really sweet. This one, I don't know if I've got a price on it. I think it was around the, maybe the $12.95 mark. Really like that one. And then this one is actually from Target and I saw the little eye and it reminded me of book from Hocus Pocus and I just fell in love with it. It says poisons on the side and it actually is a light up. So if you turn the little eye on it, does like some weird kind of color changing thing there. But I just, because of the, the Hocus Pocus reference, I just had to pick that one up and I thought that would look nice on the bookshelf as well. Other random decorative pieces. This one's also from Target. This is the Skull and Crow decoration. I think this might've been $8. I think the book was $8 as well. Just really simple. They had a bunch of different skulls, some glitter skulls and things like that, but I like the skull with the crow. And then I also got a giant pumpkin man thing. This just, I something about the, the colors and the textures of this was very much reminiscent of a lot of the things that I have in my apartment. So I decided to pick this one up. It's got a marble base. And then on the back, it actually has a spot for two like tea lights so that you could see the light flickering through. Although you'd want to like make sure you monitor that because this is wood. Really sweet. This is from the brand Witch Crafters. Again, from TK Maxx. I think everything else I'm gonna show you guys is from TK Maxx, just so you're aware. Um, and does it have a price? It does, it was $14.95. So, I love my giant little pumpkin man. Next, I bought a couple of bits for my bar cart. I definitely knew that I'd wanted to style that for Halloween, and when I saw this, it says, we'll trade candy for wine. I figured that would be perfect for a bar cart. This is from Designs by Kathy, and it was $7.95 really sweet little sign. They had a whole bunch of different signs. 
And then I also grabbed these. These were $3.95. They're Party Book Black um, Bachi from Milano. I don't know. They're just a whole bunch of paper straws and some sort of different black and white patterns. They also had some orange ones as well, which I'm going to style up uh, when I get a chance. For the kitchen, I saw these tea towels and I fell in love. These are a set of two kitchen towels from Hallow's Eve. These were $9.95 and they're a stack of pumpkins with some little French bulldogs. One's like little hiding in the bottom there and one's poking out of the top. I just, I mean, come on. They're just, they're just adorable and they fit with the kind of color scheme that I decide to go for. I mainly stuck to white, black and orange with some little hints of uh, like metallics and woods, natural kind of finishes. But I wanted to keep to like a relatively cohesive uh, color theme and these just worked perfectly. And as I said, we're adorable. Speaking of kitchen items, I did pick up a few things from Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn is a, or she's a person, but it's also a range of crockery, pottery type stuff that you can get in TK Maxx, also TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Sense and Home Goods in other parts of the world. But it's really popular and I didn't realize how popular until I was watching some videos online of other people's Halloween decor hauls. And I realized like this stuff is crazy popular in the States. So um, I'm excited to have some. It's not as popular in Australia, so it is a lot easier to get. I did get two of these mugs. These are the Witch's Brew mugs. They were $6.95 each. And all the Ray Dunn stuff is, is quite similar. It has, a lot of it has these giant like letters on it. Um, there are a few sort of ranges that have illustrations. I picked up some of those last year, which I will show when I show you all the this stuff in situ, but really, really nice stuff. Let's pull some of this over here. I also picked up this bowl which says trick or treat. All the stuff that I purchased this year was in this matte black with the sort of off-white colored writing. Really nice. This one was $19.95. And then after I'd watched the videos and realized how popular it was, I thought maybe I should pick up some more figuring that I will use it. And if in the future I decide that I don't need it anymore, then there's probably a market for me to sell it onto somebody else who would like it. So I also picked up the larger size Happy Halloween. So for reference there, and these I will use to put in um, like lollies and candy closer to the date. But for now, I think I'll just have them on display because they are just really pretty pieces. This one was $24.95. And then I also grabbed two of these like little plates. Um, you could really use these for trinket plates. I feel like you could use them for styling. You could sort of have them displayed because they do just really look nice, like propped up like that. Or you could use them if you're having a Halloween party to put like little snacks on. So these were both $6.95 each and I got the Boo. And I also got the Spooky. What else do I have to show you guys? Oh. I did pick up one cushion this year. This is from Witch Crafters again. It's the Feather Filled Decorative Pillow and this was $24.95. They did have a bunch of cushions out again this year. This Boo one, which you may have spotted in the background, I actually got last year, but that was available again. It's $24.95 from Goblin and Ghoul, the brand. So that was back out. Most of them were around the $24.95 mark, but I just, I really like this one. I think this will go on my uh, little armchair and it's really soft too. And lastly, I don't think it could be a Halloween haul without some pumpkins. I got an array of pumpkins this year. I liked the idea of mixing textures and styles. So the first one that I have here is from Midnight Fright. Uh, this was $19.95 and it's kind of like a soft material one with a little brown material stem up there. I also got this wooden one. This one is made in India actually. It is $16.95. It's a little like wooden number there. Really sweet. I also picked up this one. This one actually lights up. This was $16.95 and I had seen very very similar to this in Pottery Barn and they were trying to sell them for like 80 or 90 dollars it was just ridiculous way out of my budget but this one for 16.95 it lights up it's really nice when it's dark at night and i thought bargain <laughs> 
And then from a similar range, I also got this one. It's like three pumpkins stacked in the white. This one also lights up and this one was $12.95. Just hang out here with my pumpkins. <laughs> So I think that's everything new that I've purchased this year. I did actually pick up a couple of other things from Target. I got a bag of bones that I'm gonna use outside at my house uh, when people come trick-or-treating, as well as a light up beware sign, which I thought was sweet. I could also style outside at home. I know it was a lot, I went a little nuts, but I think I just, I got really excited. It's some really, really cool stuff and it's so exciting to have access to this kind of Halloween decor because before TK Maxx we really didn't have anything like this in Australia so I do get a little bit overexcited but now I think what I will do is style all this stuff up around the apartment and then I'll show you how it looks in situ. Okay let's start in the living area. I've swapped out my winky cushion for of course my trick or treat and then I also have my old TK Maxx boo cushion on the lounge and then I just have a cluster of pumpkins here taking over the coffee table. I really like this and and with this lit up at night it just it's so cozy I also still have a tray that used to sit on the coffee table over here with the boo little actually maybe I sort of switched that for the spooky since the boo's there anyway with the boo little tray ready for some snacks and then if we turn over here you can see the bar cart I have the will trade wide for candy sign propped up there I've actually used a little bulldog clip you can kind of see the bottom of it there to hold it because it kept on falling down but I think that works pretty well I've got a couple of pumpkins this one was from Daiso I think last year this is old TK Maxx from last year the new straws which I love and I've popped out my witch's brew mugs on the bar cart just because I thought that brew was kind of cool it kind of it links to coffee but also links to beer in a way which suits the whole bar cart theme another little pumpkin there that one is from TK Maxx last year and I did pull off the pink that I've had I had a pink pot that the cactus was in I just felt like the pink wasn't Halloween enough so I put that away for the time being then we pop over here, you can see I've switched out my table setting a little bit. I have the lovely little white stack of pumpkins there, which does have the light turned on again, really nice at night. A little boo sign, which I got a few years back off of eBay. And I picked up some like scraggly branches from a tree near my house. I actually did this at the, like the decorations that I've done at my parents' house. And I loved how it looks there. So I decided to do the same thing here and have pulled out my um, branches and have said or leaves sorry and put in some like dead looking branches I think that looks really really cool I love that whole setting then as you come into the kitchen you can see that I've actually popped out both of the little Halloween hand towels because I just I loved them so much so I've got one in my sink and then one hanging here on the oven and then I couldn't not display my trick or treat and Halloween bowls. They're just too pretty. So I've actually used, you might be able to see in there, it's my sugar canister. It was like the perfect size for that. So <laughs> that is currently being used there since I don't actually use the sugar canister that much. And I have a couple of pumpkins. That was in a set of three from TK Maxx last year. That was out again this year. And that one is another one from Dezo. I think I got it. The little uh, Target skull there just hanging out this is another Ray Dunn piece I got this last year it says spooky and I've just got it popped up there along with the bewitching mug again this was Ray Dunn from last year Halloween although they had similar ones out again this year and I have that there sitting ready to use whenever a beverage needs to be made and since my sugar canister is currently inside the bowl I have put my trick-or-treat candle here to take its place I can't wait to light that one I figured the guest bathroom could use a little Halloween touch as well so I've popped the boo candle just there and I also have this trick-or-treat little I guess bucket you would call it candle luminary maybe that I got last year from TK Maxx and I have a Bath and Body Works pumpkin spice candle hidden in there which looks really cool when you um, light it and you can see it through and of course I just moved a little cactus there as well to complete the look. I almost forgot the bookshelves. I've popped the little Poisons book with the eye just there. I know the eye isn't showing, but I love the idea that the book is just in amongst all my other general stuff. I just have this random Poisons book. I have the little spooky tray on display. And then of course my skeleton special spooky book there. 
little Mr. Pumpkin Man. Big Mr. Pumpkin Man is hanging up at the top there. I might try and get some of those like electronic tea light candles to stick in the back there just because I think that would be a little bit safer. And then I do also have my little Happy Halloween candle there with the lid off just so I can smell it because it does smell really, really good. I think that's everything I had to show you guys. So we're going to end this video vlog style. I hope you've enjoyed this bonus video. Like I said earlier, keep a lookout for some more apartment updates. They are coming. I have heard you and I am definitely going to continue that on. You may have seen a few little changes as part of this video. So keep an eye out for that. I'm also literally today going to go to Ikea to get my bed and start my bedroom so that's exciting things to come there and otherwise if you have picked up any halloween bits and pieces tag me in a photo on facebook or instagram or twitter i'd love to see what you picked up if you like the tk maxx stuff definitely rush out now because it has been out for about a month and it is selling out fast target also has their bits and pieces out so they should be available as well and other than that i hope you're all having a fantastic day and i'll see you all in my next video Bye guys.